Good afternoon, and welcome to the uh, February 2018 meeting of the Finance Committee. It's a uh, nice day in New York City. Looks like it's a decent day up in Albany. For the record, no one's there from Buffalo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Buffalo contingent yes, didn't, and, didn't, didn't arrive. Yeah, yes, and um, so first up is the, uh, the meeting minutes from the... Um, January 9th meeting, which are behind tab uh, two. Um, can I get them? By the way, is there any? Oh, there's, there's a gentleman from Help. I I yeah, John's there. John's there. John Hello, John. Um, can I get a motion to uh, um, approve those meeting minutes? Uh, so, so moved. Thank you. John moved. I'll second it. Thank you. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. Um, the Finance Committee will be um, reviewing one resolution today. That's behind tab three on um, the School District Revenue Bond Financing Program. It'll be presented by Dave, and I note that there was a uh, amended um, um, Bond Council letter that was sent out and received um, uh, today. So thank you, uh, Dave. Please proceed. Thanks. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm hiding on the end here, so I apologize oh. for not looking at the, the camera. Um, the Finance Committee is being asked to recommend to the full board the adoption of the necessary documents uh, to authorize multiple series of tax exempt or taxable bonds in an amount not to exceed $500 million. These bonds will be sold through multiple negotiated offerings at various New York State school districts. Uh, proceeds from this authorization may be used to refinance the bond anticipation notes or bans of various New York State school districts to finance the new money projects on behalf of these districts, or to refund bonds issued by DASME through the school district's revenue bond financing program. Um, I'll just point out with the refunding component, uh, that's not likely to occur this year. Uh, you'll recall we've done a number of advanced refunding pools in the past, and with the new tax law prohibiting advanced refundings, <coughs> and they're not being really any current refunding candidates, that's not likely this year. Um, so really the intent of this authorization is to accommodate uh, new money and re new money and dancing pool that would be closing in June. Um, I'll note that we are uh, coming forward a little bit here this year. Um, there's an expectation of a larger pool and this allows us to get some of the documents out to the districts and get an earlier start. Uh, we had 40 districts out last year and we anticipate probably at least that amount this year. Um, the reason behind that participation is expected to be high um, as interest rates rise in relation to the uh, statewide average interest rate. Um, so you'll recall that school districts that issue bonds on their own receive building aid based on the statewide average, um, whereas school districts that issue through ASNI receive building aid based on their actual cost of borrowing. So since that um, statewide average rate lags That's behind right. rates, as rates go up, it drives districts through the DASNI pool. Um, another factor is with, with short-term rates rising, it's there's less incentive for the school districts to renew their bond anticipation notes. Um, I'll just point out, um, you mentioned the bond council letter. Um, you know, Dina's here to explain if, uh, if needed, but um, tomorrow when bond council presents, they'll be uh, presenting an amended and restated master resolution, um, which essentially simplifies administration of the program and reflects our, our current investment guidelines. But the, uh, the terms of the amended and restated master resolution are substantially the same as the, uh, as the original master resolution. So that includes the, the structure and security of the pool, uh, which would be the same as previous school district pools. Um, so as for security, it would be semi-annual payments made pursuant to financing agreements, which are backed by the full faith and credit general obligation bonds of the participating districts a statutory intercept through the state controller of any state aid due to participating districts for debt service on the bonds and bond insurance if available and economically advantageous which uh, we've used in a number of cases in the past um, so that's really all i have mr chairman thank you very much dave for that thoughtful presentation any questions or concerns well not so much questions but dino why don't you spend t two minutes uh for the record um, uh, clarifying the distinction between the deal as, as it was presented originally and the deal that now that we're, we're going to look at it like group tomorrow. Okay, sure. 
So one of um, one of the things we're you know we're going to uh, we're hoping to well we're, we're planning to do that Dave described sort of simplifying the the program administration um, the the master resolution that was adopted in two thousand two. Um, provides for the issuance of bonds over time, you know, pursuant to the adoption of, of multiple series resolutions. Essentially, each series of bonds is, is authorized by an individual series resolution. Um, for a while, we've been trying to sort of, uh, we've been thinking about trying to, to uh, make the structure a bit more like pit and sales tax, where the authorization would be by a supplemental resolution um, uh, instead of multiple series resolutions. And so, this, you know, we thought this was a good time to, to do that. And initially, you know, we, we sort of were talked it over with Oric and, and we're thinking about, you know, are we are we better off just adopting a brand new master resolution or should we be amending and restating the existing resolution? And and initially we collectively concluded that the cleanest way to do this was to adopt a, a, a brand new master resolution, which would be, again, as Dave pointed out, very similar to the existing one, but for sort of changing the series resolution construct to a supplemental resolution construct. Um, late last week, in discussing with some of the details with Oric, we realized that there was sort of one factor that um, uh, you know caused us to sort of rethink that that approach. And there's a provision in the master resolution that um, provides that. If DASNY issues multiple series of bonds for a particular school district, and that does happen pretty routinely, there are sort of repeat, you know, repeat customers, if you will. Um, it provides that if there's a default by that district, and DASNY needs to sort of um, intercept state aid as you know, as, as sort of the per the, the security features, that any intercepted state aid would be shared rateably um, among the the various series of bonds issued for that particular district. So the 2002 master resolution, it, it was clear that that's, that was the case, the rateable sharing was the case for all series of bonds issued under that resolution. What was sort of in question, we realized late last week, was that if series of bonds were issued in the future under a new master resolution, the rateable sharing sort of from, you know, among the two different master resolutions was that that was sort of called into question, and it raised the the prospect of potentially having bonds issued under a new master resolution be subordinate to bonds issued under the existing master resolution, at least with respect to that state aid intercept. And we knew that really was not a desirable outcome. So that's when we, I think, mean, sort of concluded with Oric that it was best to sort of shift gears right. and amend and amend and restate the existing master resolution, with the outcome really being identical. I mean, the the amended and restated. Um, master resolution is going to say sort of exactly what a brand new one would have said, but we solved that potential problem about the sharing of intercepted state aid. Dina, thank you. I, I thank you. I, I don't have sure. a question. I didn't have a. I have one quick question on the process. Each district still has to have their approval, right? Is the, the members of the district still vote to approve the issuance of the bond before these bonds get issued or, or no? Yeah, I mean, all the all the same approvals that they would need to issue bonds on their own apply to issuing the, the school program. Got it. Okay. Wait, because so the districts... Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go. I'm sorry. Go. No, I was going to say, just because the, the districts that participate they issue their full faith and credit general obligation bonds to DASNY. So all, all of the, you know, everything that they need to do in terms of voter approval, you know, Board of Education Stage approval, the th those are all the same, yes. Good, okay. Thank you. I thought that was the case, but I just, my own question. Thank you. Any other questions or concerns? Well, well not a question so much as a comment, uh, and Dina has already confirmed this for me. Um, uh, the Marcou firm, um, which is, uh, co-bond council on this deal is not has not been a part of, of the formulation of the of this portion of the deal but will be with Oric um, uh, going forward as co-bond council did I get that right Dina you you did that's right I mean the work done to date really has focused on the the master resolution and and it's you know the sort of the the June pool hasn't really got up and, and running yet but but yeah Gabriel that the, the Maru's Law Group will be co-bond counsel for the June 
people as they have for the past, at least the past, I'd say three or four uh, polls. And I said Marku, forgive me, it's a last name of a very good friend of mine. Uh, thank you for correcting me. I didn't have any questions. Thank you. Anything else? Doing none, can Jack, I you just had one quick question. Yes. How is the actual cap determined at 500 million? You know, I, it's really an estimate at this point. We're, really what we're trying to do is get it through the year and, you know, based on past pools, you know, the, I think last year's was right around 300 million. But you never know, there's sometimes districts that come in later in the year that we might get issued for on shorter notice. So, you know, it's really an estimate on our part to get us through the next year. <coughs> Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, I please get a motion to recommend the approval of this resolution for the school board. Thank you. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. Um, and, and Mr. Chairman, my apologies. There's also a, um, a TELP transaction for Mary and Jean Bassett behind TELP yes. 4. Got it. I saw that. That was a Mary. Imogene. Imogene. Bassett. Yep. Yep. Bassett. So, Where is that, by the way? Oh, Cooperstown. I see. So, behind house, the health financing, uh, very Bassett Hospital, an amount not to exceed $12.7 million. As you know, it's a policy of the whole board that health financings, which um, exceed $10 million in a 12 month period, be brought before both PACB and DASNY board for its approval, for their approval. Um, there's an attached equipment list, which uh, sets forth various types of oncology, cardiology, nursing, and other equipment. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Portia, I didn't think to ask you this previously, but who's bond counsel on, on and we don't, we don't, uh, don't list bond counsel uh, on the TELP deals. Who, who is it? Uh, for, for this one, it's, it's Hodgson Russ and Golden Rush. Holly James as co-bond counsel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? Concerns? Hearing none, can I please get a motion to recommend a poll at tomorrow's board meeting? So moved. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. That motion carries. Anything else on the agenda, Portia? Any concerns or anything? That, nope. That's it. That's, That's it, it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Well, that means there, we can, there's uh, a um, before we get get off just for tomorrow's meeting. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of people in Albany. There is a static. Uh, there's a breakup in in the um, in what we hear, what we can hear down here uh, from from the room. It, it's it's not. It's clear when we can hear, you, but it's. It's like a telephone, a, a, a pocket phone that's changing cells. It's okay. There's also some static back there too. It was like almost yeah, like a dog like barking. It's changing it. Uh, yeah, it sounds like it's. Tower. Anyway, it doesn't. I mean, yeah. it's a technical okay. thing to be dealt with. But it's going to be it'll be difficult for a full meet. Yeah. yeah, deal with that. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you all. Can we a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second, thank you. All in favor, aye. aye. Any opposed, none. That motion carries. Thank you. Thank you all.